midday and the 154 bus heads down Bergen Boulevard from Fort Lee to New York in the Port Authority bus terminal. A quarter million people travel round trip every day from Jersey into Midtown and the 67 year old bus station on 42nd Street's overwhelmed and falling apart. Its upper floors unable to support today's heavy buses according to the Regional Plan Association's Tom Wright. The Port Authority bus terminal was not built to handle the number of people that travel to it today let alone the kind of growth that's anticipated for the future. Um, and it's really in danger of, of um, you know, collapse. But Wright says the RPA's got a better idea than the Port Authority's current plan, which would completely replace the terminal for $10 billion. In a new study, the RPA recommends upgrading the current terminal and building a second bus terminal a few blocks away in the basement of the Javits Convention Center. We think that it would be a more flexible approach. You can do that uh, with the money we have now. You can do it more quickly. Um, and at the same time, of course, what we have to do is build the gateway tunnel uh, to under the Hudson River. So it's very New York centric, very Manhattan centric. I'm really disappointed because they didn't reach out to us, they didn't talk to us. State Senator Loretta Weinberg, who's toured the bus terminal with other Jersey lawmakers, claims the RPA never consulted her side of the Hudson and is unaware of the Port Authority's current discussions on the terminal. Which is to build up on the current site, which minimizes any impact on the neighborhood of having to expand the footprint. Weinberg says the current bus terminals close to multiple subway lines, Javits only one. And she says bus service is far more important for Jersey commuters. RPA's own studies show close to 7,700 commuter buses travel to Midtown from Jersey, far more than from Brooklyn, Queens, or from Upper Manhattan and the Bronx. <laughs> Weinberg and the RPA both agree job one is getting the $24 billion gateway train tunnel project under the Hudson financed and completed, but the RPA also wants to extend the tunnel all the way to Sunnyside, Queens and hook up with the LIRR. That's controversial. So Jersey commuters would have more options, more flexibility, a system that's more resilient um, under the proposal that we're talking about. There is no rail access in Englewood or Teaneck or Fort Lee or Bergenfield, there is no railroad. So where are they going to increase rail to these places? Lawmakers, advocates, and transportation experts will continue to debate this issue, but ultimately it's up to the Port Authority to decide where the 154 bus will go in Manhattan. In Palisades Park, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.